What's up guys, this is John with Box Auto Gaming, and today we're going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know this has been out for a while, and I'd be lying if I said that I haven't played this before. Um, but I'm going to start over, and we're going to play through this, hopefully. I don't know how, how long, I guess, the longevity of this series is going to be, but I'm super excited to play this game. I love it so much. Nintendo Presents... The Legend of Zelda. I'm a huge fan of the the whole Zelda series. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Hello. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. At least they had the decency to leave his pants on. For those that didn't know, this game is like one of the first Zelda games, it is the first Zelda game that actually incorporated like actual talking into it, so it has actual dialogue. Link still remains um, mute, but, or not, not really mute, I mean he does talk in a sense. Like you fill in the dialogue for him, which I really like, I, I like that they kept with that and didn't change that. Uh, and so, I don't know if I said it before, but it's gonna, this is, we're playing this on the Nintendo Switch, so. That is a Sheikah Slate. That? Take oh. it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I'm stealing. Zelda's thunder there. Or, I mean, the, the anonymous woman that's talking. Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. And that opens the door! Shirt. Let's put that shirt on. You're Donald Duck in it. That's okay. Ooh, why did you kick it? Alright, now you have pantaloons on. Good job, Link. You've done it. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. I'll show you the way. It's Candy Mountain. This is like old people for the first time figuring out technology. So it said authenticating. She can sleep confirmed. I could be pronouncing all this stuff wrong. That's that's entirely possible. Link. Oh. You are the light. Oh. Our light. That must shine upon High Rule once again. Now go. 
Now get out of here. Just go, you big dumb animal. So that little half circle, I don't know if you figured it out, is your stamina bar. So climbing, uh, sprinting, those things all affect that. Uh, swimming, I think does it. Ugh. I love the soundtrack. I love the music. It's so beautiful. Such a beautiful game, too. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The wait was worth it for this game. I know it was a long time between Skyward Sword and this one. Even between Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. That was a long wait. But I mean, this one just seemed to take forever. I, suspiciously hooded man. Tree branch. Wood bran wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Hiya! We're going after these mushrooms. A Hylian shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Hylian, yeah. Eat it! To restore half a heart. Another hiding inch room. Yummy. Mm, 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 mm. So that's one thing that's different if you played past uh, Zelda games. Cutting the grass does not give you rupees. So it's a little more realistic in that sense, I guess. But there's not just random. We're going to keep that, that tree branch. We never know when you might need two. Ooh. We got blow. Oh my god, if I hit this dude, that's gonna be amazing. Oh no. Oh. Apples? A apple, a common fruit found on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effects. Baked apple, direct heat, has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me, I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? You hitting on me? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, it is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Of Hyrule? Of Hyrule. Point. Ooh. Looks like that temple there long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it is set abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. <laughs> Alright, is that that's all you're gonna give me? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course, although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Taking the torch. Torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there, and how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? To set things on fire! That is rather 
unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch will make a good weapon, if need be. However, do not swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Press and hold the ZL button. Okay, thanks for that. A woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it slow, inefficient, inefficient weapon. It's a nice little circle in the water. Oh, I almost missed it. <laughs> hey! Yeah, you found me. Korok, huh? You're not Hestu, but you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. A Korok seed. Korok seed. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. So, like I was saying, uh, swimming, obviously, drains your stamina bar. Uh. Head for the point marked on the God. map in your Sheikah Slate. Okay. So I push the minus button to uh, check that. Follow the Sheikah Slate. This is my new objective. It's on the main quest line. A rusty broadsword. Cool. faster I do wonder if I can fish I don't have a fishing pole I mean I've played this before but I didn't have a fishing pole this is another apple apple tree okay. oh okay jump link jump Well, we'll go without that. Hey! Meet my tree branch. We'll collect the tree branches. Is there anything hidden in these runes? Ancient spring, a spring used in ancient machinery, it is light and buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. Ah, oh, foe! You dare cross me? Oh boy. I'm gonna beat him to death with this tree branch. Come at me, bro. A bokoblin horn. A severed horn of a bokoblin. Bokoblin? Bokoblin, a creature often encountered in the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Boko club. A crude bokoblin club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, but its durability is low. Well, it's better than the tree branch that I'm wielding right now. Not much, but a little bit better. <gasps> a chest, I see. Oh. My tree branch broke. I'm gonna beat you to death with your brother's club. A bokoblin fang, a tooth obtained from a bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. 
cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Oh, and a horn. Bokoblin. Horn. Bokoblin? Bokoblin. Helian trousers. Traditional dress trousers for Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Nice! You got new trousers. You got pants. Now, if only we had socks. I do love socks. Hmm. They will meet their maker. Ooh. It worked! I've actually never gone this way. I typically approach them from like straight on, so I've never been able to do that. That was awesome. Can't believe that actually worked. Seared steak, raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. It also stops you from getting sick. Cooking meat, that's probably a smart thing to do. So to kind of explain the HUD, obviously the hearts are up in the top left corner as well as like the fast menu. So as I collect more things, I can actually use the fast menu instead of switching by going to the menu, but I just do that. And the bottom right corner, there's the map, the MIDI map, and uh, that's a sound thing at the bottom. Uh, so like that gauges how much sound or noise I'm making. And so, like, if I sneak, it obviously makes less noise, but if I sprint, it makes a lot of noise. And then there's a temperature gauge above that. Right, here we go. My Boko Club is badly damaged. Traveler's Sword, a very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable but a bit unreliable against monsters. That's a Boko shield, a Bokoblin made shield created by attacking a handhold, by attaching a handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. But it's a shield, nonetheless. Uh, that's a bundle of five arrows, a bundle of five common arrows. The shafts of these arrows were carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. A horn. All right, we're gonna chuck this at one of these. Jeez. Shit. Okay, so we're gonna use the fast menu. We're gonna use the club. Come at me, bro. Boko bow, a basic bokoblin bow made of wood. It's made by taking any tree branch, tree branch, and just tying a string to either end. So don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. Attack with a bow. You draw the bow. Release to fire. And then you can change bows pretty much the same way. You have to draw the bow first, and then you can switch. And then you can actually switch your arrows, so that's another five arrows, horn, arrow, horn, arrow, shot arrow. Oh, okay, so now we're going to take care of whatever is over here. Hip, hip. Place a Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. It's 
squirrel. Soundtrack. Oh, it's so good. Love the music. Ouch. That would have been a hell of a ride. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. So now, the area around me is revealed. Regional map extracted. years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Well, let's, not hope. let's hope that doesn't happen. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. I'm trying, Zelda, for you. Or mysterious woman. Follow the Sheikah Slate complete. We completed a quest. So this is the size of the map. It's pretty giant considering we walked from there to there just now I mean it, it, it once you see it, it it's pretty impressive oh I almost fell off oh boy that was scary Link, be careful. Uh. Oh, oh, let go. Ooh. It's Father Christmas. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has woken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop the tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, the vile entity brought the kingdom Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. To many, or so many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers... Building its strength for the moment, it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. 
Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. Oh, certainly. Why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Isolated plateau. Open adventure log. Come, let me show you something. Uh, after your descent from the tower, the old man told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed 100 years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice coming from Hyrule Castle, but you cannot reach it unless you leave the plateau using the paraglider. The old man said that he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. Lead the way. Go faster. 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 Uh, uh, Talk to me. Do you see that structure there? That one shining with a strange light? Sure. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> Interesting. I would think that such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Fine, 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 fine. I'll kill some bitches first, though. So. Oh, turn your head. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I think there was one more guy. Oh, he's celebrating all by himself, which is sad. Okay, so I think there was one thing over here somewhere. Arrows and another bow. We'll take it. What's that thing? Oh, that's a rock. Lame. Right, where's that? Oh, okay, there it is. Climb, 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 climb. I can make it better. I can add a rock. Sword. Sword, sword. Ancient spring. A spring used in ancient machinery. I think I've already read that. Can float on water. Can. That's what they say. I search you. Nope. What if I drown? I got a big giant piece of wood on my back. Is that like a life preserver? Perhaps. Reenact Titanic. Chest. Oman Ao Shrine. Ruby, a precious red gem mined from large ore deposits found throughout Hyrule. 
Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Let's examine this. She can say confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Examine. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Aman Ao. In the name of the goddess of Hyrule, I present this trial. Agnesis trial, Aman Ao shrine. <laughs> She gets late authenticated distilling rune. objects using magnetism. Grab on to metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis ruin. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Rune extracted. You selected rune from your Sheikah slate. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed. Ah! What if I crushed myself with that? That would have sucked. screw. A screw used in ancient machinery, it's made of unknown material and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show sign of wear. Johnny boy, and think. Hmm. Oh, good. I was thinking of how I could get that uh, ladder to go across the both of them, or, you know, form a ramp. I don't think that would have worked. It's a traveler's bow. Oh, but... Whoa! Ah-ha! It's a shriveled mummy. Not mummy. Mummy sleeping. Whoa! That looks like fiberglass. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Aman Ao, the creator of this trial. Oh, Ao, Aj, Ah. I'm a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. We 
With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess of Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Shazam! Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenge of a shrine. Oh, my heart's got restored. May the goddess of may the goddess smile upon you. Great plateau, we're back. Hello. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How does he know? How did you know? Clairvoyance. Ho ho. Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can now often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Father Christmas, it is all connected to that chica slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that chica slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young, young go-getter like yourself. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? Oh, ho, ho. I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah yeah. Slate. Ooh. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you oak, the shrine you just came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. I want to mess with things. And there is a chest. Chest, 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 chest. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. All right, we're going to go to the top of that tower. Travel! <coughs> hey, how did he get up there? I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you... Did you fly here? Oh, so you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks, tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this to as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you like to mark on the map. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? Oh, just a few tricks I picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. 
He's spicy. That looks like one. Okay. Oh. And that looks like another. Oh, there's one right there. I see it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Perfect. Okay, so the uh, that's the three shrines that you suggested, right, old man? So, um, I think that's all the time that I got for this episode, guys. If you guys like what you saw, um, leave a comment below or something. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for me, too, leave that as well. Uh, on the next episode, we'll go after these three shrines that he was talking about and uh, kind of go from there, see where we lead, okay? So I will see you guys in the next episode of The Breath of the Wild. Later.